In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the different ways that we can control the width, height, and spacing of our HTML elements. Or in other words, we'll be looking at the CSS box model. So I've prepared an example. We can see two boxes, a blue box and a black box. The top div has a class of experiment and the second div has a class of baseline. And I've attached a CSS file. So we'll go ahead and look at that. We can see that both elements have a width of 400 pixels and a height of 80 pixels. And the purpose of this video is to add styles to the top blue div and we're just going to take note of how its width and height and spacing are affected. So let's dive right in. I'm going to begin adding new properties to our div. So padding 10 pixels. When I hit refresh we see that our text or content no longer sits flush against the edge of our container. So we can see our first div, there's no spacing. Our new div now has 10 pixels of spacing on all four sides. Next up, let's add a border. Border, 10 pixels, solid gray. When we hit refresh, it's fairly intuitive. We see a 10 pixel border on all four sides of our element. And finally for now, let's add margin bottom, 10 pixels. So when we hit refresh, we see that margin adds spacing to the outside of the element. We see that our second div is pushed down 10 pixels from the margin of the top div. Now let's go into something a bit more advanced. So we see that our two divs no longer match in width where they previously did. So this is a good time to do a little exercise um, to get a better idea of how padding and border affect the true dimensions of our elements. So if we want them to line up again in width, we need to compensate this width value to take into account the padding and the border. So if we have 10 pixels of padding on the left and right, that's 20 total pad uh, pixels of padding on our element. So we need to subtract 20 from this 400. 380. If we refresh, we see that we're almost there. We also have 10 pixels of border on the left and right. So that's 20 total pixels worth of border. So we subtract 380 down to 360. And we see that the two elements now match perfectly. So it's just something to keep in mind when you're creating your CSS layouts that padding and border do affect the dimensions of your elements. Now, there's one last thing I want to cover regarding margins before we close out this video. So let's add 10 pixels of top margin to our bottom div. So baseline margin top 10 pixels. When we refresh, we see that nothing happens. We cannot see any visual change. That's because when two margins are touching, they collapse and the larger of the two margins is used. So let's bump this up to 12 pixels top margin and refresh and watch very closely. So we saw it, that it bumped down two pixels. So instead of there being a 12 pixels plus 10 pixels, instead of there being 22 pixels of spacing, there's only 12. Um, the margins are touching so they're collapsing and the larger of the two is used. And in this case, um, the 12 from our bottom div is used. So that's just a note on margins. It can be frustrating if you're not aware of collapsing. Um, so just keep that in mind. And that wraps up this video tutorial. Hope you found it useful and uh, more videos coming soon. Thanks. Bye.